set guys playing a certain number of carries every game. I think it will be. You know, if you're hot, it's going to stick with you. Maybe more so than Walt did. Um, I believe so. Uh, there's a lot of guys and a lot of talent here. So I think, you know, obviously you're going to have to scheme up something against whoever we're playing based on their defense. But I think, you know, whoever is going and whatever's working, he's going to stick with that until the defense stops it and then go from there. Can you describe the process of deciding to come back here for another year? I know you said you want to talk to your family before making that decision. I just want to talk to my family, speak to God about it. Um, my degree is very important to me. And, you know, I just thought, you know, one more season of developing and getting school out of the way wouldn't be such a bad idea. So, you know, here I am and, you know, I'm just working hard, getting my grades right and, you know, have, hopefully have a great season. Was that an easy choice for you? <laughs> Not really. Um, you know, there was a lot of things pulling me to leave and everything, but, you know, I'm glad I decided to come here and, you know, I'm just going to, you know, it's 100% all the way through. Are you graduating this spring? Uh, no, I'm graduating in the fall. Oh, okay. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the DC Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. With the, the new offensive system, you think running backs will have more of an opportunity to catch passes? Um, definitely. You know, we have, um, we can, you're a coach Canada say there's going to be possibly two three back sets, so other backs will have to learn different spots, and that means if you're in a different spot, there's a possibility of routes coming into hand, so I think there's definitely going to be a big chance of running back, you know, catching the ball out of the field or lining up with the slot or something like that. What are some of the most immediate defenses you can catch that? Well, definitely the huddle up, uh, that's one. But uh, just the schemes, and they're both very similar in a lot of ways. There's just very little things that are just switched around, like based on how like a double team might go to a linebacker, certain calls on um, how we to do, how we block, you know, protections and everything are very different. Um, you know, Coach Bell, we had us scanning the whole field, the backside scan, but this with Coach Canada, we're only doing the front side to like side, backside split, and you know, it's little things here and there, but it's not really all that different. It's just a new name, you know, and it's called something different. Do you feel like you can expand your game with this offense maybe more than you did before? Definitely. I hope to do that with any offense. Um, it's just the whole part of coming in, learning it, being able to learn other spots as well, and, you know, just adding that to my arsenal. One what, more for time. What's the difference with the quarterback under center to your timing and what you see when they snap the ball? This definitely gives you um, a more open view to, you know, the backside cut, you know, uh, banging it in there or bouncing it, it allows you to get your shoulder squared up more. More um, than the read look? Well, I mean, you're right behind the quarterback in the eye position pistol, so it kind of helps because you're either going to one side or the other. And when we take our steps, you're squaring your shoulders on the second step already, and you're squaring them when you're at five yards, not when you're at three, mm -hmm. um, at three yards away from the line. So mm -hmm. it kind of helps give you that more uh, time and space to make a decision. Next time. Yeah. Can make your hands clap.